So hello active traders and welcome to our Trading Week Ahead broadcast. I'm Ken Calhoun, your host from TradeMastery.com, coming at you live here on Saturday, February 12th. Valentine Super Bowl Sunday. Who you guys got? The Rams and the Bengals, right? Who you got for the Super Bowl? Hit me up. Let's see if you're right or not. Remember, it's Valentine's Day on Monday for that special someone, so do something nice, right? Who you got for the Super Bowl? Let me know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our charts and broad market right now. Uh, let's get underway. Super Bowl is coming up soon, uh, and we've got Valentine's Day on Monday. Anyway, broad market did a really big epic sell-off yesterday, and you can see the market drop nicely. And so, obviously, we were trading things like UVXY that go up when the market goes down. Now, as a, wow, big turnout. As we get started, type in, if you would, are you day traders or swing traders or both? If you would, type in the word day, swing, or both, and I'll adjust the content mix to meet the needs of the audience, right? If you're mostly all swing traders, we'll cover mostly swing trades and vice versa for day trades, or some of both. Usually I get both, but... Hey, thanks, Freddie, Scott, Peter, Devendra, Stephen, Will, Frenchie, looks like both. Hey, Polly, hey, Leroy. Alfred, hey Al. Almost everyone says both, so we'll cover both. Now, what do we expect? Well, the market's dropping. A black swan event may be if uh, Russia invades Ukraine, like in the middle of the night tonight or tomorrow or whenever. Uh, There's kind of an urgent warning from the State Department out for Americans to flee or to make an orderly retreat from Ukraine. Uh, that that's something hanging over the heads of the market. So until Russia gets resolved, these markets are not going to go up. So don't be a bull in a relatively. Hey Steve. Uh, Stephen A, uh, please uh, type. Uh, I, I see your hand. If, if you have a question, type it in the chat box, and I'll be happy to answer. Anyway, so with that hanging over the market, uh, Russia invasion plus record high inflation, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I don't expect the market to go up a whole heck of a lot next week. And we had a couple of sell days recently, of course, Friday being a big one, the biggest red day we've seen since, since way back here. That was the closest. That one was kind of large. We had a couple of me large ones there. Anyway, the main thing is the market lost the, uh, the 200 SMA, and it closed under the 200 simple moving average again. Now, last time it hammered out a bottom, right? You can see we had a hammer here. And so the market re resolved up to the 100 SMA and then came right back down again. This is a broken market in a downtrend. So you want to be looking at your inverses as well as directionals. Now, if we take a look at some of these charts, our media charts, well, before we look at those, one thing I want to cover is the VIX. Look at the spike in the VIX, right? It closed off near 27, right? At 27.36. So we're over 27 in the VIX. Remember, I've been telling you the last two weeks now, whenever the VIX gets over uh, 22, that was a key support resistance. And so we can see that red line. You look really carefully. The red line is at 22 right here. And so that, that was our resistance on the VIX. I'm mean, using 22 resistance and 19 or so support. That's the moving average lines. Anyway, the point is, as long as the VIX stays above that 22 line, we should be focused on selling, not buying the market. So you don't want to do much bottom fishing. I'm in a little bit of cannabis stocks. I picked up a, a couple here and there, like Sundial, Tilray, Canopy Growth, because cannabis has been up. Uh, we've had strength in energy. Uh, we've got strength in... Uh, many different, uh, very specific sectors. But overall, it's a defensive market, so uh, we don't want to be uh, swing trading this market because we've got really good spike in the VIX. Of course, I trade UVXY. And look at the volume. This is the biggest green volume we've had all year long, I believe, was Friday, right? Over 160 million shares. UVXY was in the top most active list, and it was the most active pre-market yesterday. I, I was trading all day long. Uh, it's just getting started, right? If the market does do a 8 to 10% correction or more, our inverse instruments like UVXY will spike up nicely. And learning how to swing trade those is one thing that I'd like to mention that I've do got a new swing trading course coming up. 
I, I, I do these very rarely now because uh, almost all my attention is focused on my own trades and running my live room. But for swing traders, I've got a, a UVX, or I should say, <coughs> excuse me, inverse session that covers UVXY, TZA, SQs, and others for swing trades mostly. Excuse me. So uh, that's at trademastery.com inverse profits. And there's details on the page uh, for what's included in that. It's only 97 bucks for basically an afternoon session, which will go over entry and exit patterns. <clears throat> You'll learn exactly which, how to scan for, and how to enter and exit inverses. I do this daily. It's, that's what I do. I trade daily, and inverses are a big piece of that, especially right now. So uh, do be sure to give that some thought. You also get a month with me in the live room. All for just 97 So that's a really good price. And no upsells or extras or add-ons or any kind of stuff. So it's good honest training for a really good price. So just remember inverseprofits.com and that'll take you to the right page on my website. I-N-V-E-R-S-E profits.com because this may explode upward in the next couple of weeks. I expect it will. Let me ask, how many of you trade inverses? I'm just curious. Stay or swing traders. Let me hit me up. Uh, let me know who... Who trades inverse instruments? <clears throat> I trade them daily. Uh, they're always a good hedge, right? By the way, you want to have an SHTF <clears throat> strategy. I was mentioning this to my traders yesterday. They thought it was kind of funny. The When the stuff hits the fan, I'll be G-rated here. Uh, you want to make sure that you have, how to say, every single day when you trade, it's a smart idea to have the order for inverse instruments in case there's bad news. Uh, or some something terrible happens, the market will crash. How do you profit from that? Well, you need to have your inverse instruments set up, maybe with a trailing stop order, a buy stop limit, like 50 cents above the opening range or whatever, or wherever you want to pick it. But do have a, if it hits the fan, if there's some bad headline news, uh, there's always a good idea to learn how to profit from it by having pending orders for inverse instruments that you get into because they go up when the market goes down. So anyway, that's a quick tip. Now, I'm going to switch over to our day trading charts. I was knocking UVXY out of the park yesterday and, uh, and on Thursday. I was up over $1,000 each day, Thursday and Friday, doing no small part to UVXY. I trade this up to dozens of times daily, scaling in and out, making multiple entries, uh, as well as having swing trades going on in the background, right? So I've got underlying background of swing trades, and then daily I day trade on top of it. So uh, this is a really good breakout. Now this is a really good example of what I call a two-day high chart breakout. And what you're looking for basically is a pattern in which you have a bullish cup and handle. And one of my traders had asked me about cup and handles. That's a bullish cup with a handle. The main thing is we buy it over the 15, right? Uh, I was trading it from pre-market too. Uh, I, was, I was I held it by the way just in case you're wondering I bought some pre-market on Thursday I sold the bear cup here I bought a little bit there stopped out there bought a little bit there and then started scaling in and out all day long I made very quite a bit of money uh, big picture you're looking for breakouts above the previous two day how to say above the previous day's high for a two day high breakout signal so when you look when I'm looking for trades I'm always looking for entry signals like like that. That's always a good cycle or an entry pattern is to look for an uptrending instrument. Uh, don't buy the exact high because you get false breakouts all the time. Now in my live room, I teach how to avoid false breakouts. That's what I've been doing for decades. It's uh, if you simply try and buy breakouts, you'll get stopped out more often than not because you need to know how to avoid the false breakouts and get in on the ones that are actually runners like this guy. So that's part of what we look for. Let's see, traders trading S yeah, and SQs. Yeah, I like SQs. Uh, TZA is okay. The best is UVXY. Second best is uh, SQs. Third best is TZA for inverses. And recently, LabD versus LabU. And one of my smart traders, Mick, had mentioned too, uh, and he was right. Gold did a good run yesterday. GDX is my favorite. He trades GDXU. I don't like that one because it doesn't have any volume, but uh, good, better leverage, I think. But G I like GDX. And look at the run in gold. So commodities, oil and gold up, that's, again, uh, 
inflationary pressures are at work, right? So our dollars are worth less, and obviously gold's going up, as it often does. So anyway, ran from 31 to just almost 32.80. So this illustrates another pattern that I want to teach you, and that's always where you're looking for what we call 45 degree angle breakouts. So 45 degree angle breakouts, the best, strongest, more consistent chart than a spike up or a very slow grind. You want somewhere in the middle right there in a 45 degree angle uh, of price action. And when you start to see one of those emerge, it's often a good idea to trade it several times. I don't know how many of you trade multiple times, but that's always, uh, I found my biggest winning days, my most profitable days and weeks and months and years are always those in which I do uh, aggressive position sizing and scaling. So. See some questions about projections on UVXY. Uh, I don't predict, I react. The only predictions that you can make is things will go up and down. Right? Uh, the best predictive indicator is range. So if you're trying to predict or forecast how far something will run in the current day, all you have to do is look at the previous day. Now it's not 100%. Some days on hot days, like yesterday in gold, you had a bigger range Friday than we had on Thursday. But as a rule of thumb, You get very similar trading ranges. So there's the range here. Pretty much identical. And a quick note for all of you watching this on YouTube, from now on I'm going to uh, cut these short and make sure that we don't run over uh, 8 or 10 minutes. So to watch the entire broadcast, like everybody who's watching this right now as I'm recording this, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, do make sure you register for uh, access via Zoom at my site at www.trademastery.com. So I'm going to stop the recording here. All the good stuff's coming up. Uh, and all of you who are here with me live obviously are going to benefit from that.